Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. Dying on my dick explosive when Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have a stick. We're playing, uh, what are we playing? Uh, Mad 19. Yeah, we are. That relocated Mexico City Golden Eagles franchise. In Mexico City. Fuck yeah. We are playing offense only, simming that D. Sim it up. And uh, using that balance playbook. We are in the playoffs, dude. Oh, yeah? Fucking round one, win or go home. Yeah, well, We've had a couple close calls, man. I'm a little worried. Close calls, but undefeated season. Oh, well yeah, now, dude. I so. mean, there was no cigars. It was all... There was no cigars? It was just close, but no cigar. Get oh, it? Da -da -da. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. I don't smoke. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. We, uh... We're going to kick some ass, dude. I, I have a feeling this is your game. <laughs> no, this is clearly your game. You bought it. Oh, yes. I do own it. Yeah. I think this is your virtual game. Oh, you mean Everybody's this is going to be my coming of age? This is where it's, I think this is your coming out party. It's like winter go home right now, and I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel that, like, the time has come well, for you to, like... What get you, out here! What do you? What do you? What you? What you're insinuating is that I've been lackluster the entire season. You're putting words in my mouth now. I mean, that's what you're insinuating. I know, dude. No. See, I was gonna let it slide. <laughs> I was good. I was talking so good about you. I'm gonna see if your spin move is improved. <laughs> <laughs> you're insinuating that my spin move was not good. Oh, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't good. Don't fucking try to play coy with me. You're a man of. Blowing people. <laughs> See, the, well, excuse me. I'm a man of blowing people. Did you <laughs> blowing people's dates up? <laughs> blowing people. You stopped me mid sentence. <laughs> I didn't stop you. Stopped yourself giggling at your joke you hadn't made. Uh, <laughs> you oh, had there you are. Oh shit. I'm a. I'm. Wait. Okay. Wait. Let's go back a few seconds here. <laughs> to where you were blowing. People. Where am I blowing these people? <laughs> You're blowing people up. Like you're in and use your power, your raw fury power to be like, blot out, bitch. Exactly. You need to, you, what you need to do, Jonas, is you need to learn how to play all the different types. Ooh, of Cynthia Ruth. Oh my! Did you see that fucking animation? Fuck up. She was mid dive, hit a man and stood up. What were you saying? You're only gonna hit a man. Watch. Shoot. She'll see it on the on the replay here. Shoot, coward. Oh, this will be a good one. Diving, and then you just stand. <laughs> <laughs> Jank as fuck, dude. Here's a really good angle. Oh, they fucked it up. Anyways. So I was a power back, and you have molded me like a female into something that you can molded handle. Molded you like a female? Yeah, dude. This is what females always try to do to us. Oh, wow. They is always that how try to mold you into, like, their perfect idea of, is a, that, is that how of a running back. <laughs> You're perfect. <laughs> oh, God. There you Oh, what is going on? Why are they? You're just like... They're hitting you. You're just standing up. You're like, nah, dude, I'm good. I mean, are we getting first downs, though? Um, I had to throw a diving catch to Cynthia Ruth and that stood up when caught. So what are you, what are you trying to say? Is like I couldn't get a first down? No, I was trying to say. Oh, you're you trying to put you, words in my mouth, man? Jeez. <laughs> The guy, oh, oh, is that is that? I'm oh sorry. Is God, this to your that liking? Guy fucking blocked. Is that enough of a, of a maneuver for you? Did I do good, Joe? They're feeding you. Yeah, you damn right. Vomit. Swagger is fucking <laughs> just, watching you just eat it up. Just a bowl full of puke. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the regurgitated worms. <laughs> it was caca and all over that shit. Told you today's your day. Jonas. <laughs> Dude, you don't even want to. Today is the greatest. Right. Day I've ever known, you know? <gasps> it's like Smashing Pumpkins is here in the Crazy Town compound singing a concert for us. <laughs> It's exactly what's happening. Be great, actually. I, dude, I would be okay with that. Oh, God. You know, it's, it's funny because when it comes to rock music. Swagger! Oh. I really, wow. like, I really like older classic rock. I wouldn't even say classic rock because, like, shit from the 90s ain't really classic. It is now, dude. It's over 20 years old. What, at what point does rock become classic? I don't know. You know technically. Because when I, you think classic rock, I think, like, the Eagles and Chicago. Zeppelin, shit like yeah. that. But, dude, okay, I, like, say with the guideline of 20 years old is classic rock. That's, I mean, that's two decades, right? All right, that's then a, what, when does something 
exit classic rock. Well, no, but let, here's my point I was going to tell you. Linkin Park would now be classic oh, rock okay, because see. they came out in 1998, dude. See, that doesn't count to I me. I mean, I've never liked them anyway, but... I'm not going to... Yeah, but they're... <laughs> Limp Biscuit would be classic rock at this point. See, I don't think... I think it's only classic rock after... Well, I can't say after they stop performing, but after they stop making new content. No, nah, dude, because, like, dude, in... Because, like, Zeppelin was around, like, say, the 70s. In the 90s, they were classic rock, dude. That's 20 years later. Were they still making music in the 90s? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but like, but 20 years is is pretty much when something becomes antique. So, I mean, I think that would... So now it's antique rock? <laughs> yeah, it, well, it might as well be. No, dude, but like, I mean, I think that's a fair point to put it. You know, like Snoop Dogg is classic rap. Ooh. Dre is classic rap. NWA, classic rap. Ugh. Tupac, Biggie, they're all classic rap now. They're, they're 20 years old, man. I mean, I don't know about classic rap. <laughs> I mean, whatever the term You, you have be. named off some of the heavy hitters where you make it difficult to argue the point. <laughs> right. I'm not going to belabor it at all, but it is, yeah, I don't know about classic rap. We're going to have to. What, what would be the term for classic rap then? Because, I mean, they can't take the rock word. They got to have their own word. <laughs> oh, oh, OG rap because it's a different type. Of yeah, dude. Music. Yeah. Don't try to ebonics it up either. In I'm here, not right? ebonicsing <laughs> anything, dude. OG rap. OG rap. That wasn't ebonics. No. <laughs> Old school. That seemed awful ebon to oh, me. Oh, ebonical. <laughs> There's no ebonica nation going no, um, on here. Fucking, I don't know, man. Like you're talking about like legends. Snoop Dogg is a legend. Biggie and two Biggie and Tupac are legends. Yeah, so, Zeppelin is like a legend. Yeah, of rock. well, one hundred percent. I think that one's pretty synonymous, no matter what type of music Ooh. you're putting out there. Oh, look! At <laughs> Did some spins, and he decided it was uh, stroke time. He just fell on over. Shit! In twenty years, Dead Mouse is gonna be a legend. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it'll be a classic dubstep. Fucking, it'll just be what's that really skinny dude with the long hair? Fucking, does all the the really popular dubstep? Skrillex. Skrillex, yeah, dude. Yeah. He'll be he'll be classic dubstep. See, Did dubstep like, die? Nah, it hasn't really died. It's not as popular as <laughs> Ooh, it was. Ooh, swagger! A lot yeah. of people think it's that that's the next evolution of music, is that it's going to be a lot of more instrumentals. Really? Yeah. See, I'm a big lyrics guy. I like what they're saying. I mean, I feel you, but a lot of time the beat kind of carries the song. Like That's you could true. come with like some grand fucking like just beautiful haiku, and you put beautiful it to the right haiku. and you put it to the right beat, and it's like oh, oh shit, that's Otis. a banger. Oh god, oh. <laughs> 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 I got three leap. yards, dude. Tried to play leapfrog with you. I know, dude. Yeah, but you know, it's like I think that's why some like I'm not huge on a lot of newer rap because there's not a lot of substance to the lyrics. The beats are good. I'll give them that. But so, sometimes it's a lot of like, I yeah. wake up, I throw up, I wish I was dead. I mean, I mean, come on, dude. That's what's popular in the streets. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Listen, that's what's popular amongst the children is what you got to understand. But okay. There are some rappers out there who have substance to their lyrics. Right. You oh, just got to know where to find I'm them. not blanking the whole rap community, but you got to think about it. Like, at one point, Dr. Dre was kids rap. Dr. Dre was kids rap? I mean, like, no, young, no, kids were shit. young kids were listening. That was the shit you wouldn't let your well, kids right, listen But that's what to. was new and kids were listening to. Yeah, teenagers. When I say kids, I mean, like, <laughs> like fucking literal kids. Like, 12-year-olds. Like, the 14-year-old girls who listen to K-pop. Oh, God. Yeah, see, like that kind of shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, young Hoku. We're going to get him in here early. Oh, we're not doing anything sneaky. We're just literally kicking a field goal. Let me name off some good people for the listeners at home. Some new... Are these... How new are these rappers? How new are they? Yeah. Uh, relatively Ooh, new, 10, actually. 10 they're fucking trying to bring a game in. Like, within the last two or three years new, or like... Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I'll get, I'll get that. I'll go with that. All right, let's see. I say J.I.D. He's got some real... Sub well, Kendrick Lamar, of course. Yeah, yeah. And then you, we can talk about the big three. We can talk about Kendrick, and we can talk about Cole. Like, they have substance. And yeah, cool off substance too. And they're relatively like recent. newer. Yeah, they've just really got huge in the last three years, probably. Uh, I, the Caprio Two by JID. JID, oh. you know, I've never even heard. Never of him. heard of him. You've never really is listened. he mainstream or is he kind of like more underground? He's up and coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. If you like Kendrick, you, you'll like J.I.D. DiCaprio, too. You never listened to Damn, though. No, I didn't. That's unfortunate, Joan. That's really unfortunate. You know? Do you like uh, Mac Miller? I do like Mac Miller. He had some substance. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, that's, and that's why I like him. He had substance abuse. Ha, da, 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 you da. can't say that, Jonas! <laughs> Dude, I mean, it was true. I bit my tongue this day. I literally had the. I, I, I bit saw my what tongue. you were insinuating. That's why. I, oh, Cynthia Ruth and Not Splinter. okay. To oh, shit. <laughs> Spin to the end no, zone. Don't, da, 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 da. don't try he to wins. play off. You just made fun of somebody. No, nah, dude. Dude, I really, I really like. Well, okay. I don't like early Mac Miller when he was like a teenager. But his last couple CDs were pretty good. I don't know. I've been listening to Mac since like Faces, so. I like yeah. Faces, I like Blue Side, but his last project was really, really The good. one that came out before he died, and Good Good Morning, Good AM, that one was really good too. That one in between, yeah. where he was dating Ariana Grande and was very R&B-ish, it was like, he was, he was trying to find his lane, man. <laughs> and then I think, but I think it went, it was good because she gave him enough of an influence that swimming was like his own thing. It was like a funky mix of uh, rap and R&B and... Yeah, he had, he had some messages. Though. Yeah, it's sad he died, man. I, I, I like with the shit he was starting to put out with like live bands with like horns and shit. You didn't yeah, piss dude, D Wade off, man. I know. D Wade is not happy. D Wade is not happy, but it's just it's a shame he, he did die because I think he would have been putting out some groundbreaking shit. Jonas is one years. of the biggest Mac Miller stands you will ever meet. Nah, dude. You are. You're a stan. It's all a right. A stan? Though. Nah, dude. You're not familiar with this term? I know what that is. Like a super fan. But no, dude. I'm not a super fan. In that lane again, like Eminem is a legend. Lil yeah. Wayne is a legend. Yeah, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a legend. And they're still putting out music to this day. I don't know, yeah. dude. We were talking about classics. And I, I don't know. Like, when do you get... What comes after classic? Like, what is, what is Ozzy Osbourne going to be? And like, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, yes, Jonas. We we've joked about. You only get one jo- death I joke. Any, per, I'm, not, per, I'm not dead joking. Per. It's like not like dead now, dude. <laughs> you only get one death joke. One, a, one death episode. comment per episode. Yeah, oh, you, sorry, I didn't mean to break down. Jonas the death is trying barrier. to kill off every famous I'm person we've br- ever known. <laughs> I'm trying to break down barriers here. But uh, yeah, like what comes after legend? Like like classical music. Dude, I don't know. Like, are we going to consider in a, in the Garden of Eden classical at some point? In the so Garden I, of Eden? What? In the Garden of oh. Eden. Oh, in the Garden of Eden? Oh, my God. Come on. You know he says in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I guess so. I guess I did. You didn't know that was the words? That's The name of the song is in the Garden of Eden. He says in the Garden of Eden. Google that shit. I'm pretty fucking Iron sure. Butterfly. He says in the Garden of Eden. In a Gata de Vida, baby. I'm fucking gonna rap genius here right now. Yeah, the name. Well, Google the right name of the song because it's in a Gata de Vida. I'm wait. How do you in the garden? <laughs> Just do Iron Butterfly. It's gonna come up. That's. I mean, that's the only song that they really. Let's see. I typed in in the Garden of Eden. Iron Butterfly in the Garden of Eden. Is the name of the song. <laughs> the name of the song is In the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Did you think it was In the God of the Vida? No, I was just trying to troll you. That doesn't even, I it's know, not right? even words. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even I was just trying language. to troll you, but you know. I don't think you were. I think you honestly believe. Oh, Cooper Swagger! Don't try to play it off with touchdowns. <laughs> Dude, I gotta at least comment on what's going on in the game. <laughs> Jesus, we, we do have something I'm else. I'm sorry, going on. Swaggy, too dope. I don't want to take your son off of you. Ah, you're trying to make Swagger's touchdown. No, we can talk about it when I get touchdowns. Everybody else can kiss my ass. Wow, <laughs> Swagger's a day one, bro. You just told him to kiss your ass with his touchdown. I told his character to kiss my ass. Uh huh. No. Don't go ah, fucking we, caping swag, for you. Swagger your... knows we love him. <laughs> he knows he's. But like I said. What? Oh, get off. Oh, get oh. off. Oh, stiff arm. Stiff arm. Oh, oh bitch. Oh, shit. I told you it was your coming out party today. Hey, look, you know what, motherfucker? <laughs> You're fucking leaving. I could have did that any day. Look at that sweetness. Any day. Do orange justice. We're leaving little... motherfuckers in the dust. You're pushing them down. You're fucking. Woo. I'm hitting them with the Douglas. Hitting them with the dub dub. No, that's the Dougie. <laughs> The dub dub. 
Man, they were they were in the game for a second. Not anymore, they're not. Then they decided that they're little bitches. That's unfortunate for them. It is quite unfortunate for them. You know, I did feel bad for them about a second, and then I, uh, I, I decided I wanted to dip my toe in the puddle of tears that they're leaving behind. I can't believe you thought it was Inagata DeVita. Inagata DeVita? I can't believe that's what you thought. It's a classic song, though. It is. It's like the longest song ever. Yeah, you know, but I guess, like, once you become classic, that is, that's as far as you can go. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. classical music is classic, Cole. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> the truest thing I think you've ever said before. <laughs> it's like, it's like hundreds of years old. Yeah. Ooh, swaggy in the triangle. Picked it up. <laughs> What would you consider like cavemen beating on drums then? Uh, noise. No. <laughs> what kind of music is that? Like ancient? I don't like know. Ancestral? Dude. Archaic? <laughs> ancestral music? Ancestral? <laughs> Fucking Darwinism? When does Little Wayne become ancestral? <laughs> when we're all living in VR? <laughs> on breathing machines. God, I can't Do you remember wait when Wheezy that. did those takes when he just got stoned and didn't even know his lyrics? <laughs> he had to write them down because he was going off the dome. Yes, I have a hollow chip of it right here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when he accidentally domed his lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> Wheezy do be doming some lyrics, though. Yeah, man. And the funny part is he's so fucking high you don't even remember what he's saying. Dude. <laughs> he just smokes like ten blunts. He is, he's, like, he's living a whole other life out there. Oh, he's probably on. I mean, he's probably leaning. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's probably leaning. He's fucking, he's just all over the map, dude. <laughs> Wheezy, call me. <laughs> yes, Wheezy, when you watch this video. You never know, man. He really likes sports. Maybe. Why don't you, why don't you tweet him and, and put the link? Why don't I tweet Lil Wayne? Yeah, why don't you? Yeah, I should just go ahead and tweet Lil Wayne, see if he'll come on and do <laughs> no, an episode no, just, of the podcast. Just say, hey, we mentioned you in our vid, dog. <laughs> what? <us. laughs> yeah. I don't know. You just basically illuminated his frequent drug use. So I mean, I don't he's know if not going to deny it. I mean, he, that's how he mm. creates. Yeah, it's true. He's yeah. not going to be like, I've never done a drug in my life, sir. I don't know. How How dare you he assault like, my character? It's, it's called an act, sweetie. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm actually a dr straight edge Christian boy from... <laughs> From even, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm not even from New Orleans. I don't even say the swears. I have my friend do it. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we have taken all the vowel sounds and we have created swears in the computer. <laughs> all that gang-related lingo I talk about, that's just a farce. Jonas, you know well, most of it is. Jonas, we should, we should make a rap album. I'm down. You always say that. I am 100% never, down to make a rap album. You never album. hit me with any instrumentals in my Dude, DMs. I'm not the beat man. I don't think you are the beat man, but I need you to find a good instrumental that we can rap over and that we can present. Oh, I got to find this. Well, who, who's going to, I got to go on Twitter. And I don't find know that. what you're looking there's for. Guys, you looking for four, four, three, four. I don't know. There's guys giving away beats on Twitter all over the place. I know. I, <laughs> Let's go on that shit. There's guys on Reddit that give away free beats too. Yeah, dude. They just want somebody with a YouTube channel to be like, yeah, dog, let's kill it. Where? Young Hoku, you son of a bitch. Dude, that was a long field goal for him. 56 yards, dude. He hit a 58-er. Uh, cool Young Ho. What was that What was that movie with John Candy? It's like the old 96er with the big fucking steak he had to eat. Fucking, uh... John Candy? Yeah, John Candy. Is he dead? Yeah, oh, he's been dead. Uncle Buck, great outdoors, that guy. I don't know who He was the Chris about. Farley before Chris Farley. <laughs> Basically. Oh! Oh, there he is, folks. He's making people look like bitches once again. They'll the never dynamite. Catch me. They'll never catch Ooh, me. Oh, they'll never catch him. My Why top speed is too high. And then they're going to show the, the guy back here, not show you do your dance. Cynthia Ruthen's over on the sideline. She's happy. <laughs> they'll show him. He's going to go cry in the car. Yeah, oh, dude, he just called his mother. He kept his cell phone in his pocket. Number 69. Yeah, dude, that was your choice. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't random. Why are you talking to me like like I'm a seven year old kid? <laughs> like you made that choice, slugger. <laughs> that was all you, my friend. <laughs> that was all you, little guy. <laughs> Y'all tuckered out from running. Why don't you turn yourself into the 69er? Oh God, don't do it. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> oh, get it. Oh God, I, that was just a fucking whippersnapper. 
throw down. Woo. Jonas, you want to try to get the ball into their hands? D Wade, <laughs> shut the fuck up, all right? D, D Wade's like, uh, hey, we're Shaq. <laughs> Shaq. <laughs> Shaq, LeBron, where are you guys? Come on, guys. Why can't we win titles by myself? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? <laughs> I like D Wade, but I'm not going to cape for that. Go ahead. Make fun of D Wade. I mean, it's true, dude. Wow. How many did he. Who, who was his partner in crime when he won his title? Oh, he. Oops. I mean, when Shaq won with the Lakers, it was Kobe and Shaq. It was and Shaq and D-Wade. D-Wade. And Shaq and who? That's the only people he's ever won with. Yeah. And okay. then it was LeBron and D-Wade. Oh, would, bitch! Would you talk that same shit to Shaq then? Because Shaq has never won with anybody but a Dwayne Wade or Kobe I mean, Kobe won without Shaq. I'm aware. And Shaq didn't win without Kobe, though. <laughs> so where's Shaq on that list, huh? He's, uh... Is I, he D-Wade status where he needs another fucking superstar in order to win? Sounds like it. Nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> the bias. I'm not even a Shaq guy. The bias rears its ugly head. I am not even a Shaq dude. <laughs> I I never was a Shaq Fu guy. I didn't like. So you just Ooh, don't. Like, they're throwing <laughs> swagger down. So you just don't like shooting guards, is what it is. <laughs> that what no, it is. dude. If you look at the history of the NBA, you don't like you're gonna guards. tell me you think Dwayne Wade ranks higher than Shaq all time. No. Right. Right. But is D Wade top ten? No. No. Shaq top ten? Absolutely. <sighs> yeah, but who did who did D Wade win with? Two guys in the top ten. Who did Shaq with win with? One guy in the top ten and one guy who's looking out in from the outside. What? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. What? D Wade is still. He's still. LeBron won with Kevin Love, dude. D Wade ain't a legend. You're not going to say D Wade was a legend? He has so many rings. He has two. Does he? Three. Three. Because he says one two with LeBron. Two with the greatest player he who's ever two played. Two with LeBron. Two with LeBron and one with Shaq, dude. He only won once with Shaq? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to look it up, but that's cool. That's fine. We're talking about basketball. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we got into our coach's lineage. This is his backstory. <laughs> I mean, he's a good guy, man. Like, honestly, this is lore. <laughs> this is this is D Wade, the coach of the coach of the fucking Golden Eagles lore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy thought he was gonna do something and he didn't. Yep, D Wade has three rings. You're right. Shaq has how many? Uh, Shaq has, I think, what. Four. LeBron has more losses than wins in the finals. Shaq has four rings. LeBron has how many? Three? LeBron has three or four. Yeah, but he's done the finals eight times. LeBron James has three rings. He has as many as uh, D. Wade. Yeah, I know, right? But he, he's pro- he'll probably get one more. LeBron? Yeah. Ooh, not when the Warriors are around. Touchdown. They're not he doing so well this season. He ain't making honestly. the finals this year. Young Hoku, how's your pass looking? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's looking bad. They're man, just... they were gone swagger, dude. God damn it, Joan. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Oh shit. So we are stopping these guys. Oh yeah, America's team, my ass. America's team's the Mexico City <laughs> Gold Eagles. <laughs> Mexico's team represent. Yeah, man. Nah, dude, I don't know. I, no, I'm just giving D-Wade a hard time. He's he's a good player. All-time great. Yeah, he's on, he's If he's not, he's close. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of somebody that else that kind of fits that scope. But Charles I, Barkley. Because he never won any titles. Yeah. I mean, neither did Allen Iverson, though. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's up there. And he's, he's up there. I, yeah, but he was... I don't know. It's in, like, all those guys that are like that. Um, like... Oh, fucking... Jeez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking G's. Um, the oh, perfect you know meld that? of profanity <laughs> and non-profanity. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, can't, I gotta keep it real. Um, you know who else? Uh, Patrick Ewing. You know what I mean? He didn't. Yeah, yeah I mean those kind of guys. He's in that category. He does have three. Dan, Wayne Wade does have three titles. So I mean, I guess. Yeah. I guess he he's a little bit better than those guys. <laughs> but that's not bad. But dude, he had to bring LeBron, LeBron and Chris Bosh down oh to Miami, God. dude. Does it really matter how you get it? 
Like, if, if you're sitting there with a million dollars in your pocket, and I'm like, yeah, but you had to, like, f- fuck 20 dudes for it. Wow. Dude, you got you got a million dollars in your pocket. Young Hoku. That's really I'm matter. I'm tired of your fucking face. Oh, we got a safety. That's how we, we have booing 40. you in the eagle's nest. <clears throat> I'm just saying, it doesn't really matter how he got the rings if he has the rings, though. I guess. I mean, <laughs> lest we bring up Thomas Brady and Deflategate and, uh, you know, looking at other people's playbooks. Dude, the fucking- it's all about winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just, you just spun him out, dude. That's how you got, you just spun on someone. I saw it. It's, you did, it was, we it was did great. it. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> definitely more interested in how it's okay for somebody to blatantly cheat. And oh, yeah, it's not dude. okay to bring in I'm, some I'm of the best about, talent. I'm all about doing what it takes to win. <laughs> so you're basically D Wade. Me? Yeah. No, no, no. Nah, I've dude, won. you're basically Dwayne Wade. Congratulations. I've won without superstars. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you just fumbled the ball out of bounds. I mean, if cheating is your best superstar. <laughs> hey, man, Tom Brady got to got to. <laughs> Do something. He sold the soul of the devil. Thus, there you go. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Let's see here. Um, That's the lesson for the day, kids. There ain't no cheat the win. I in team, but there ain't no we either. Did you ever cheat on a test in school? No. Yeah. Never cheated. I've never cheated on anything. I have cheated so many times. What? <laughs> Just really gonna let that slide? <laughs> That you cheated? No rebuttal to that. I, I, I. Good for you. Do you feel do you do you feel superior because you never I cheated? Do you feel superior? <laughs> Are you better than me, man? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> nah, dude. I just. Have I just, you ever let anybody cheat off of you? Uh, oh, no, I don't think no? so. Really? I definitely let people cheat off of me. Oh, when I went to the defensive driving class, there was this guy who didn't speak very good English, and I think he was copying off my paper, and I felt so bad for him. I didn't even like paper. Oh, so you did let somebody I got cheat to let him cheat. In the defensive driving course. Because he was going to fucking fail, dude. Yeah, he didn't know what was happening. He just got fucking... I don't know how, like... He wasn't from Nicely the U.S., done. so I don't know how... If he got a U.S. driver's license or what? I don't know, man. Well, good for you, Jonas. Yeah, man, I helped him out. Yeah, man. Me and him, we're homies. We bonded. We're, we're all this out here trying to make it. Yeah, you know. There's, uh, you know, there's, what do you call that? There's cheating for a good reason. <laughs> cheating for a good, like Tom Brady. <laughs> no, that's not a good reason. <laughs> oh, shit. Like Robin Hood. Robin Hood, yeah, stealing from the rich, give to the poor. You had 310 yards rushing, God by the way. damn, Dude, I bitch. told you it was your coming out party. You had more rushing yards than I had passing yards. I don't like the term That might be an NFL party. record. We're going to have to check that. It ain't. It happened in that other universe. No, dude, that's a different universe. It's like Marvel oh. and DC. Oh, that's true. Yeah, dude. All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lie to your friends. Tell them that we're funny. Tell them we should watch us. And that coming they- out. Are you coming out on what? My coming out party. <laughs> it is. You won. <laughs> we won. For Jonas. For TNT Dynamite. We, we are. are. Oh. <laughs>